You know I'm gonna bring the energy. You know, you know I'm gonna bring the energy. <laughs> Quebec in the house. USA in the house. Canada in the house. Loving it, loving it, guys. Thank you for this moment, man. I'm just so blown away with everything that's happened so far the last three days. You guys been having a bomb or what? I hope you guys are taking some notes. And I've seen a lot of people taking notes here today. But you know what I want you to do? You better read those notes after. <laughs> a lot of people have been taking notes. You had your head down, but I don't know if you're going to go home and read those notes. Because that's what's really important to getting better. I'm going to talk to you guys about something super serious. And this is what really really helped me. You know, I know, I know you, you heard from a lot of speakers, a lot of great leaders, but I'm going to talk to you about this one thing. All right. And I'm trying to click. Let's do this. Oh no. There you go. The green. I'm colorblind by the way. So I couldn't see. <laughs> your belief will build your endurance. Your belief will build your endurance. See, a lot of you guys right now, unfortunately are tired. It's un it's un I'm s I have to be honest with you. A lot of people in the back right now are probably tired. Probably going through your phone, texting, on TikTok. I, I know I'm not lying because I've seen it already. You got to have endurance. See, it's not endurance just in business. It's endurance in life. Because you got to be focused to take in the information. Right? One of the things that I struggled at early in my career was endurance and focus. See, I used to show up to these meetings. I used to get so pumped up, right? I used to watch all the speakers, watch all the ring earners. I used to clap for them. But then I also didn't do much about it. I didn't do anything about it. I also got distracted. I used to sit in the back. Sorry, for, sorry to mention this, guys, but people in the back, you see people in the front that are texting. You see people walking around. Where is Quebec sitting right now? That's not by accident. I can tell you that. We made sure we sat in the front. So one, one nugget I'll leave you with, I mean, there's many, make sure you sit in the front. Make sure you sit in the front because you got to take in this information. All right? Super important. Your belief will build your endurance. Do you believe in yourself? Is that a yes? yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Success is having a proper belief system. You got to get real serious about this, guys. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. Henry Ford, read that to yourself again. Whether you think you can or you can't, you are right. You're damn sure right. If you think you can't prospect, if you think you can't close deals, if you think you can't recruit because you don't have the skills, well, you're damn right. And the opposite is true too. Your thoughts, your feelings, your actions and results. A lot of the great leaders talk about this. Frank DeLeo, I know in your mindset training, you talk a lot about this. Your belief. Do you believe in yourself? Read this question. What are we thinking about daily? You came to this show today. What are you thinking about? Are you listening to the speakers or are you thinking about something else? I'm going to get into your head right now. I'm seriously going to get into your head right now. Are you actually watching the speakers or are you thinking about something else? Why are we thinking about the things we think about daily? Right? We got a lot of distractions, right? A lot of things going on. Our phone, man, our phone is so hindering to our progress in life. So hindering. See, I see people putting away their phones right now. <laughs> what can you do to shift our belief system to propel you towards success? Well, the answer to me, and you've heard it multiple times, is your environment. You are here for a reason. You are here for a reason, yes? because you want to be part of a compelling environment. What's the books, the audios? What do you read on a daily basis? What do you expose yourself to? Netflix and chill? You're on TikTok all day swiping? What are you doing? Or are you learning? Are you progressing? Are you growing? Right? Are you conscious about what you're doing? See, that's, I think, one of the biggest challenges we have today in today's society, not being conscious of what we're doing. We just do things. We just do things. And it's killing us. Got to start getting more conscious. You know, sometimes just sit down. Right now, while you're listening to the speaker, just think about how you're paying attention. Am I paying attention? Am I focused? Am I listening to what this person is saying? 
I am. I know I am. I don't know about you guys. I'm here in front. I'm taking this seriously because I want to grow. I wasted too much time, and you'll hear about my story. Social media, YouTube, right? Who are you listening to? Who are the podcast leaders or whoever? What are you listening to? Or are you watching cat videos? I'm, I know the people who are laughing probably do, right? <laughs> what kind of movies you're watching? The people you surround yourself around with. Who are the people you constantly surround yourself with? Do we have a lot of part-time people here? Anyone has full-time jobs? Only a few? Okay, I see a few hands go up. See, a lot of us came here because we want a better life, right? We want to do something great for our families. And it means probably to leave the current job or whatever state you're in today. What, what does that require you to do? Well, it requires you to be part of an environment that's going to help you grow. So if you're constantly around eight hours a day, and I'll tell you a little bit of my story. I was working in the forklift industry, as you guys heard Jamie say, for 10 years, starting in 2008. And I struggled a lot. Why? Because the environment was so toxic. See, a lot of us have to go to our jobs just because we have to pay our bills, right? But is it helping us grow if you just stay there? What my mentor told me is like, Dinesh, man, you can't be doing overtime at your job anymore. You know what your overtime has to be? You got to come to the environment now. See, a lot of us are picking up extra hours thinking we're making more money, but we're really not because after taxes, you know, we know Canada is the highest tax province, right? I mean, we live in a progressive tax system. You got nothing left, really. What you got to do is you got to get out of that environment. You got to be part of an environment. The leadership, the offices you're part of, the Zoom meetings that you guys do constantly. Don't wait for it. Be proactive about it. Meet them, right? That's how you're going to expand your thinking, your lid. If you're looking to change your outcome in 2023 with experience, it's time to make changes to your environment and get seriously focused about it. You're going to become serious or what? I only have a few people. You're going to get serious or what? Yeah. Where did I start? I got introduced and I started part-time in the financial service industry when I was 21 years old in 2008. That's, that's a little bit about my conventions and you see me as a forklift operator in one of those pictures. And I was in and out of school. A lot of young folks in this house, guys, I was with a studious kid, right? You could probably tell. <laughs> Work labor jobs. Right? Factories, earning minimum wage. Why? Because I didn't have a degree to my name. Right? I know a lot of people here might have degrees. I did not have a degree. I finished high school. That was it. I wanted to get into a nine to five, start making money so I can go buy clothes and fancy things, right? And all this materialistic stuff. Caught up in the wrong environment of individuals, right? People who were making money fast. I don't want to say any more. But yeah, it was bad environments. Partying and staying up late. Young folks, partying and staying up late. So no, no. Struggling financially, having no understanding of money. My focus was totally disoriented. A lot of you can relate to this stuff right here. But are you conscious about what you're doing? See, a lot of you can tick off some of this stuff here. But are you conscious about what you're doing? See, it took me forever. I joined Experian in 2018. Right? I'm going to get to this Michael Jordan post. But I joined Experian in 2018. For 10 years, I struggled with my former company. Right? Any SFAs here? Can you, could the SFA stand up? I want to do one thing. SFA, stand up. SFA, don't, don't be afraid to stand up. If you're an SFA, stand up. All right. If you've been in this business as an SFA for less than one year, sit down. Less than two years, sit down. Less than three years, sit down. Less than four years, sit down. Less than five years, sit down. Less than six years, sit down. I think I see one man standing. Is that Moreland right there? Come here, baby. Your endurance. Come here. Come here. I'm going to... Come here. This man reserves... This man... See, it's not easy to last that long at a place where you know that you still want to grow, right? See, a lot of us quit after a year, three months, two years, six years as a faith, right? And you're still here, man. You're still here. You're still here, right? See, see, a lot of you in this room today are probably still questioning, am I going to do this? And you've only been here for six months, a year, two years? I lasted 10 years. 
I love you, bro. Michael Jordan, I missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again. And that is why I succeed. Right? Guys, success is not just around the corner. It's going to take some hard work. It's going to take some trials and tribulations. It's going to go through a lot of ups and downs. But are you willing to stick it out? Are you willing to stick it out? Ask yourself, after this convention, are you willing to stick it out? No matter what level you're at. If you're at FA, SFA, SM, even EDs, I'm talking to you. Are you willing to stick it out? Yeah. Let's go. Denzel, my man. See where I get my swag from, right? <laughs> so you, know, you never know who you touch. You never know how or when you'll Im have an impact or how important your example, example can be to someone else. See, I struggled for 10 years, and I'm not ashamed to talk about it today. But I wanted to give some of you hope to know that I was an SFA. It's called an, it was a different title, but it's an SFA title in my previous company for 10 years. And I struggled for 10 years, but I was willing to stick it out because I wanted to be an example to some of you today to say that it takes time, takes work, goes through hardships to become someone. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. What kept me going? My purpose. Number one was to retire my parents. My dad got diagnosed with brain cancer in 2018, 56 years old, passed away in 2018. Came to this country with nothing in 83 because we had a riot back home. And he worked dead-end jobs, labor jobs, and he was the man of the house, the breadwinner of the house. When he passed away, that was my turning point, 2018. He got diagnosed 2020, he passed away. My life changed. See, sometimes a lot of us have to go through some desperate situation to make changes in our life. It's unfortunate, right? Until then, we don't wake up. I'm just hoping you don't have to go through that to make that decision today. Just make it, man. Make it work for you. My team, I love you guys, right? You have to have a compelling team around you. You got to be fighting for someone. You got to be helping people, leaders, develop them. My life partner, you guys heard Lucia come up. A lot of you guys probably don't know. But me and Lu <laughs> thank you, babe. Me and Lucia are building two different businesses. See, you never heard Dinesh and Lucia. Why is that the case? Because I told Lucia, I'm like, I want you to be an inspiration on your own to your people, to your community, right? As a lady, as a woman, right? And that's what she's doing. And my mentors, I can't talk more, any more about them, man. Delroy, Andrea Rogers, you guys heard from Andrea Rogers earlier today. Powerful woman, powerful lady, right? There's no mystery why we get all this growth, right? Because we're always around them. That's what happened. On a daily basis, guys, I, I encourage you, right, even during this meeting or this event, go meet people. Talk to them on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Maybe you might be scared sitting today and say, man, I don't know if I can ask that question. I don't know. What to, what to do next. Find the people, talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, man. Pick their brains. That's what I did. If you want to win, you got to do stuff like that, guys. Don't waste your time here. You're not just coming here to spend money and, and have fun. You're here to learn and grow. Take this life to the next level. Fast forward to 2023, and it's not to boast, but you know, 2018, my last year at Forklift Driver, that's when I went full-time in Xperia, I was making 40,000, you know, and in the grace of God, today, with the environment, with the people that I was around that helped me grow, we hit a milestone of 200,000, man. Like, I can't even imagine this right now. 60 plus licensed advisors, five sales managers on our team, 200,000 plus earners, actually an EDX promotion just today. Let's go! But you know what kept me going? If there's anything that you want to take away from my talk, this might give you some goosebumps. It gives me goosebumps when I say it. But my belief and my faith carried me until my skills caught up. My belief and my faith carried me until my skills caught up. Right? See, a lot of you today might feel you don't have the skills, but I'm telling you, the environment will help you build that skill. Just have belief and faith, guys. I love you. Blessings. And we'll see you at the next event.
Hey, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jamie Prick and I'm the CEO of Xperior Financial Group. And if you like what you saw in that video, that was from our last convention. Well, this next convention coming up July 16th to the 18th of 2024 is going to be absolute fire. It's the decade of distinction. And if you haven't got tickets for it, click on the link below. Let's make it happen. We're gonna change the world.